and uh, played the way that you know, myself and Wesley have played. They do a bulldog through and through. I just don't understand that play in a final, why you wouldn't have someone on the end of it. Nice pass to Johnson. He's got 70 from Emotions were overwhelming. Rowan Smith in his 300th and perhaps last AFL game. Scotty West joining his great mate for his 300th. However, the road trip to Perth for the semi-final showdown against the West Coast was never going to be easy. The Eagles off a heartbreaking loss to Sydney, the Dogs riding high. Three goals in the first quarter were promising, but only two more were scored for the night. Places it into the heart of the corridor, and Johnson, how does he do it so often? Extraordinarily, with their small forward line, no team has taken more contested marks inside 50 than the Dogs, and Johnson doesn't miss. Now, the Bulldogs pounce. Morris to West. And he goes short to the middle to perhaps playing his last game. Rowan Smith, game number 300, out wide to Johnson. Oh, here's a chance for the Dogs. Open forward line. Johnson, can he sidestep glass? He can. Brad Johnson goes for home and kicks the goal. Stop. Beautifully done by the Dogs. Butler tried to tap it to a teammate. Oh. There, bang, Brad lays the tackle in the back, said the umpire. Very poor tackle. It was a poor tackle because I reckon that he's hurt himself, Chris Grant. He can't take a trick tonight. Looks a bit groggy, Chris Grant. Looking much better than their opposition, but uh, Rodney Eads sent the message out. Keep control of the ball. We are only two goals down. We're not playing well. Our turn will come. Clever kick from West to Street. Now the big fella's going to go himself. A long bomb. Here's a chance for Montgomery. Is it a free kick? Yes, it is. Against Daniel Kerr. Well, Peter Street. The advantage has been paid, and Johnson's gone on and kicked his third goal. Forget tags, forget everything. Play like we play. Brett Jones. Oh, Bang. Well done. Peter Street, magnificent. The umpire was going to give a free kick to the Bulldog. Then he changed his mind. And Peter Street saying, hey, ump. Peter Smith, he can kick a goal. So can Jim oh. Syracuse. And that's their first score for the quarter, Tim. Nine minutes in with all the attack and run that they've had and uh, they squander that opportunity. And they still have only two goal kickers for the night. It's pretty Rosa. quick stuff. It is quick now, isn't yeah, it? This is what we thought. Game's opened up. Yep. To Armstrong, to the 50. Grant works his way to the front. That was an easy one for him. Now he's back on Hanson. He gets it moving to Boyd. Short to Ray. He's off. Found raise a couple of bounces. A long, a good kick. Minson's got to mark it, and he does. And he's got to kick it. All the work that they put in, they need to get a reward on the scoreboard. I find it fascinating that the bouncing of the ball now is not a problem. Early on, that that rain obviously gone away, and humidity tonight not as great. Bit of breeze around, so it's dried out. So the guys, it's now starting to turn a little bit for the Bulldogs' style of play. Eight goals, three to Will Minson this season. He'll be kicking from right on 50. Boy, do the dogs need this one. He's made a good fist of it. But not good enough. Cheered to the rafters by the locals. As Bob up the way that the game's been played in this third term. He is such an important player. He has kicked his foot. No, they might have clipped the post and they touched again on the line. Touched again. Oh, wow. about three of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are kicking into the slight breeze, and I know the grandstand protects it there, but it just must hold up the kick ever so marginally. I think it's been Byron Harris each time, hasn't it? Three touches on the line. 27 points in favour of West Coast. Oh, dear. Well, Sums up their night. Yeah, the, the clanger count is going to go heavily against the Bulldogs. Eagles work it inside 50 again. Embley worked his opponent under the ball. Now Fletcher. Oh, he's lost a handle on it. 40 clangers, the Bulldogs, for the night. Is this, does this go out on the full or off his boot? No, it's out on the full. Didn't, wouldn't have mattered whether he marked it or not. I think he'd given up on it, yeah, hadn't he? Yeah. Power for the Bulldogs. Cross will need to be good to get out of this. And he needs to get the ball out. He did. Now, Rosa, high lob, McMahon under it. And that's 
a mark. We've gone almost 20 minutes without a goal in this match. Where's that uh, 10 minutes of Eagles play? It's not impossible for the Bulldogs to do it still. Grant to Eagleton. He's got this, John. Oh. Oh. Johnson couldn't mark it. There's Hargrave. Got the handball out to John Syracuse. Mm. Too hot for Johnson. Grant Johnson, a couple of misses, won't be happy. Eagleton. Still got a crack at it. Went the sucker off the ground. Crosses there. Hargrave has another go at it. He's Johnson's in there. Some pressure on. There <laughs> is. The ball's following. The Grant next Johnson. goal is so crucial. John Syracuse and oh. no. Hargrave just stems the pressure for a moment, but not for long. Rowan Jones. Rowan Smith. Now Morris. Jim Syracuse to McMahon. Can see nothing ahead, so he delays it. Jim Syracuse, the dogs have broken down badly. Cross to Ray. Now there's a chance to go forward. Calls inside for the hand pass. He looks to set a forward. And there's a free kick against Chick. Tim, that's the first forward entry of the quarter to the Western Bulldogs. West Coast have had 13. That just tells you what the domination has been in this fourth quarter. So Robbins will line them up. Malcolm, next week. West Coast Eagles, Adelaide. In Adelaide. Yes, um, they've had trouble with one side. Just his second kick of the night. And that is what is known as a belated goal. Out of it array. Just terrible disposal. Lack of composure there. Just shot down a lot of those bulldogs. And the kick was from Hargrave. Braun legs. And the Eagles will take on Adelaide next week in the preliminary final at Amy Stadium after absolutely toweling up the Western Bulldogs. Well, football says goodbye to Rowan Smith. 300 games exactly of AFL football. Twice an All-Australian. And this is always Robert and Malcolm, a very difficult moment in one's career. It is, and uh, just respected throughout the country for the person that he is, for the football that he is. You can see it's got to be emotion. It was a wonderful week for him last week at the MCG when they won. And that says it all. Thank you, Rowan. You're a champion. Champion football, a champion player. Sad way to finish, but I'm glad he got to the magical 300 number. Yeah, he's been a wonderful ambassador, actually, for the Bulldogs and for football. Always been a very likeable fella, and, he's, and he could play the game. 300 is champ. For the first 15 minutes of the third quarter, I thought we worked extremely hard, but we just couldn't put the, any scoreboard pressure on. Not to make any scoreboard pressure, but enough goals. You know, Gene Sirocuse had a couple of chances and Will at the post. I thought we worked extremely hard, but then they just started to get on top of us there and probably should have blown us away by three quarters time to be honest, had 1-5, 1-6, whatever they kicked. Um, but then the last quarter, yeah, just trailed off, and I think that's probably the signs of a young, inexperienced side generally. I mean, 16, 17 guys, pretty young. And they're experienced with a team that have been in the finals for a few years now, and uh, I think the bigger bodies and the bigger, you know, more experience, and that's what we're going to try and emulate. I mean, you know, we're a, a young side, uh, generally, so we need to make some improvement, and that's that's fine. That shows where we're at a bit, so... Um, I think we've made enormous gains this year, but it's like the tennis rankings. Going from 15th to 8th is a reasonable, it's OK, but go to 8th to 6th, 5th or 6th is a big jump, and then you go to the top 4 is a bigger jump, and then the, the top 2 is even a bigger jump again. So we, we, we've got some work ahead of us, but I've got no doubt um, at least 2 out of 22 have got enormous improvement left in them. Yeah, it's very disappointing, obviously, to, uh, to end like that, but... The one main thing that I probably will get out of tonight is that the group in there will learn from this experience and um, it will only make them stronger and, and make them better for it and you know, I couldn't be more proud of it. For Rowan Smith, a sad farewell. The dogs, a cruel way to bow out.